We have shown before the forge foil, which is it's an old Mama Aline technique. It's where you put the aluminum foil onto boxes or um, cardboard and whatever, and, and you antique it with black, and then you get the look of actually where the metal has been, where it's been forged. It's really, it's a timeless technique. Mm -hmm. So I went from there and I took and I made this really cool ornament bird, but oh, you just have to see what I did because it really was a surprise even to me when I was working on it. For this project, I'm using the Aline's Original Techie Glue in the gold bottle. I found that it's, it is an all-purpose glue, but it really works well for having the foil a little bit sturdier. And that's what I'm using. I'm using aluminum foil. It's just regular kitchen aluminum foil. So I measure a sheet, probably the width of the foil by this, the same width of um, like a square. And what you're going to do is you're going to crinkle it all up. And then you open it up like this. Now I just take a rolling pin. You could also take a um, a bottle, a jar, anything just to flatten it out. Next I want to color it. I want to put a little bit of a black acrylic paint on so that it um, antiques it, it just tones it down. I have a little bit of water here. I have a cosmetic sponge with a little bit of black paint. I'm going to put a little bit of water because I want it to be watered down a little bit. I'm just going to brush that or take the sponge and just put it over the whole surface. And you can see how it changes the color. It tones it down completely. That makes it a little bit more antique or like metal, used metal. Next I'm using the alcohol inks and I just drip them around and if you have too much again you can just kind of go through it but usually they just spread out. And this is what you'll have when you're done. One whole side is all covered. Okay, we're going to turn it over. And I have a, an old Christmas ornament and a wooden ball. And this one happens to be a flat wooden ball. I've glued it to the top. I took off the, the cap to the, um, the ornament. I've glued it to the top and I let it dry. And you can use any size. Here's another one. Put that there for a second because now we need to put the glue on here. I use a cardboard squeegee. Squeegee it so it's even across the whole piece of the back side of that foil that you we just colored. Oops. Now the head's going to go in the middle. And just start working with it. Work around the head first. Keep, keep this part out here because this is going to be the tail. You can see the wings are here. A 
And here's another wing starting here. And just keep working with it. Go to the back of it, the bottom of it. You want as much up into the wings as you can get. And then I just start to shape them up against the body. Now, if there's no glue in here, then we're going to put a little bit And that'll help them to stay up. And don't worry about any of the seams because I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a second. working with it. Now this is the great thing about the Aline's Techie Glue, the original Aline's Techie Glue in the gold bottle. When these dry, they seem like they're a little bit flexible right now. When they dry, it, it is so much stronger. It's so cool. It's like magic that it gets strong and firm for your wings. Okay, we're going to set that aside to dry. We want that, the wings to dry up like that. And you can, you can see now the form. Make sure that you do have more pieces, all your underneath pieces, pushed in as much as you can. And here's one that's already dry that I've shaped. And I've got everything glued. Now here's where any of these seams, this is where the fun comes in because you can take just some scrapbooking paper and I have some pieces here that have like a double side. And I found one thing that it's, I love the, the print on this side, but it's very, very thick. So I try and remove part of that back layer because I want it to be a little bit thinner so that it'll, it'll go around the edges. So try and remove, if you have one that's, that's that double thickness, try and get that off. It's really cool when you're scrapbooking, but when you go to use it for like collage, not as cool. Take your squeegee again, put glue on the back of the paper, and then this is where it helps to connect the different, like the wing to the body. Over here, as you can see where it didn't quite glue, so I'm going to put another little piece here. And then you just put pieces where you want them. You know, right here I need a piece, back here. And here's my bird completely done. Now, I found that it was, for me, it was a little bit too flat, so I decided to put some wire and beads. So I just uh, took some decorative wire and added some beads, wrapped it around. And then for my nest, I shredded some of the the paper, and this is the paper, this, this um, scrapbooking paper, I shredded some of the foil and I glued it on top of a clothespin so that it can go right on the tree. And then I have some little half beads that make perfect eyeballs. And then the, um, the beak, the coolest part of all, when I use my um, sponges and they, they have the um, acrylic paint on them, I usually am not very good about drying them off. So when they dry, they get really hard. So I just chopped off the bottom part of this into a cone shape, and then I just put a little bit of silver. So the beak is just part of the facial sponge. 
And that's all there is to it to make your eco-friendly forged foil bird. So the biggest surprise to me was how you actually used the foil for the wings and the tail. That was and a that surprise was, that to was me just, That was just the big aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh, it was. I had no idea. I, it's funny too because I started out with a flat bird and you know, we've talked about before how many times we, we have to go through process to get what we actually oh want. Oh my gosh, as designers a lot of people don't realize how many steps you go through to get this. <laughs> Uh, it, it started out flat. Mm -hmm. It started out flat. I, I actually still have that in my. You know what? We're going to put that in the almost daily. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll, we'll show what the first creative thought was <laughs> yeah. of Heidi. And then I thought, no, that's just not, it's not me. It's just flat. So then I thought, well, what can I do with the, you know, the roundness and everything? And actually, when I was forming it, is where I'm like, huh, oh. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. And I, I came running out to Tiffany after I was gone, and she's just like, oh my God, it's just so cool. And, and it wasn't actually until I saw your demo when I went, oh yeah. my gosh, this I thought this was cool, but this is really, really <laughs> cool. So. It just was the neatest thing that just, it just happened. It's just one of those things that happened. Well, it's so funny. When I watched Heidi's demo and I first saw her folding the foil in half, and I thought, it, it looks like an angel. <laughs> and not even and so you're gonna have to try that but yeah. not even realizing oh yeah she has to use all of that excess foil yeah. so anyway yeah. I can go on and on raving about that <laughs> it was uh, fun. it was that I love that project that was a brilliant eco Heidi design thank you yeah I did recycle too yes we forget about that <laughs> but you can use the mache balls mm -hmm. if you don't have mm -hmm. a, an ornament that right. you want to recycle right but yeah I'm, everybody has mm -hmm. in fact garage sales they, there's as i say of... if you say everybody has them i don't <laughs> <laughs> but i'm sure you could find one in my craft shop here. i think so i think so <laughs> heidi's personal craft shop i think so <laughs>